What's up you guys, it's Tanya and Dave from Turn It Up World and we're excited because today we're gonna to be sharing with you some Las Vegas news and updates for September 2022. September is a great time to visit Las Vegas. The summer heat is getting cooler, the crowds are getting smaller, the pools are still open, and it's festival season. There are a lot of changes going on in Las Vegas right now and in this video, we're gonna tell you what you need to know. Oh, before we get into it, one, one second, we are just want to let you know that we are getting uh, uh, super <laughs> close to our 100,000 subscriber goal. Thank you so much for all the support and the growth of this channel. We are absolutely blown away. And if you haven't done so, take a second, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Help us get to that goal. But by doing so, it also helps us to create some of the best Las Vegas content we can. All right, you ready to rock this? I'm ready. Let's kick it off. To kick things off, let's first update you about Lake Mead and also a little bit about the recent flash floodings. Ah, Lake Mead, Lake Mead. You know, as the water levels continue to drop, Lake Mead is constantly starting to reveal some of her dirty little secrets. Now, as of this video, there's a fourth body that has been found in Lake Mead. And according to the Clark County Medical Examiners, they're actually under investigation to determine the cause of death. So moral of the story is, if you are going to swim in Lake Mead, wear a life jacket. Flash floods have again recently battered the Las Vegas Strip. The biggest impacts have been seen at the Link Parking Garage, Caesars Palace, and Planet Hollywood. Now this has been a crazy monsoon season in Las Vegas with the boulevard getting flooded multiple times. And it's already been actually the heaviest rainy season in the last 10 years. For a bit of good news, for those interested in going to Death Valley, the roads have been repaired and reopened. So if you have plans to go to Death Valley in September, you're gonna have a great time. Hey babe, let's talk about some of the exciting openings coming up in September. Thanks, sugar dumplings. Well, let's talk about the newest addition to the Paris Hotel family. So recently, Paris has been opening up quite a few restaurants and bars and things of that nature. But the latest to join the Paris family is the new Martha Stewart restaurant called The Bedford, which just opened up. Now, The Bedford is supposed to be an inspiration to Martha's 1925 farmhouse out in Bedford, New York. So you know Martha's gonna be bringing some of that delicious Martha Stewart yumminess all over the place if it qualifies for a good old Turn it up, world. Yum, yum. Give me some. All right, I'm off. Okay, baby. I am so serious about off to the races. You guys may know that Formula One is coming to Las Vegas, but what you don't know or may not know, and now you will, is that there has been a leakage in terms of when it's coming to Las Vegas. And the sources have said it's coming to the Las Vegas Strip November 16th through the 18th, 2023. Oh, hold on a second. Woo wee, all right, that is much better. Ooh. Now getting back to Formula One, they have purchased a 39 acre land over on Koval and Harmon. They are opening up what is called a Formula One experience for all you Formula One lovers, which is set to have race simulators, go-kart racing tracks, museums, and of course it's Vegas, you guys. So bars and restaurants, which we are so excited to check out. Hey babe, yeah. why don't you tell me about the new idea we've been talking about? All right, so before we continue this uh, update, we just wanna let you guys know, we have been reading a lot of your comments on a lot of our latest videos, and they have been really awesome. You guys appreciate the videos we're putting out, but you also leave some great tips that we think could be shared with everyone. So stick around, because at the end of this video, we're gonna ask a question, and we're gonna pick one of you who answers that question to highlight in next week's video. All right, back to the video. So let's talk about the latest Mirage news. Now, we do all know that MGM Resort sale of the Mirage to Hard Rock is expected to close before the end of this year. And we know Hard Rock, of course, plans to rebrand the Mirage and build a new guitar-shaped hotel on the property that's expected to open in 2025. But the latest news regarding the Cirque du Soleil show, Beatles Love, is expected to extend through 2023 during their transition of the Hard Rock, which is great news because because that is an absolutely fabulous Cirque du Soleil show. For fans of the NFL, get ready for some football. Of course, September kicks off the NFL season and the Raiders home opener is against the Arizona Cardinals at Allegiant Stadium on September 18th. And in other NFL news, the NFL Pro Bowl 2023 is returning to Las Vegas and Allegiant Stadium. Now the date 
has not yet been announced, but we expect that it will be on February 5th, which is the Sunday before the Super Bowl, as is customary. Babe, so it looks like Top Golf may have some competition coming to Las Vegas. I know, I know. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah, that's right, you guys. So Flight Golf and Entertainment just broke ground on their $70 million project called the Atomic Range, which is by the Strat. Now, new at Bally's, AKA Horseshoe, has opened a new bar and hidden speakeasy called Cabinets of Curiosities and The Lock, and it's located on the lower levels of Bally's. Now, the bar has curio cabinets that includes objects, or as they describe it, wonders from around the world. But behind the cabinets is a speakeasy called The Lock. The lock requires reservations, and once you have them, look for a phone on the wall of the bar to check in. The so-called locksmith will then let you know how to pick the locks to get into the speakeasy. Now that sounds like fun. To get your up-to-date Las Vegas information, be sure to follow our Las Vegas Facebook group called For the Love of Las Vegas. There's a lot of people in that group sharing their stories, their videos. If you want to join, just click the link in the description box below. Also at Bali, the sports book is being replaced by an arcade. And apparently the arcade is going to have 80 games from the true classics to some of the newer ones. Tanya, you love those classics, I right? I absolutely want one of my favorites is Ms. Pac-Man. <laughs> yes. Gobble, gobble. She loves that game. And up next, once home to one of the best lobster buffets in all of Las Vegas, the Silverton has closed its 300 hotel rooms and pool for a $45 million renovation and does not expect to reopen until early 23. Now, a lot of you have had questions for us about what is the new development replacing the Hawaiian marketplace. We have some additional details for you. According to the Las Vegas Review Journal, they're reporting that the new development will have a three-story, 300,000 square foot space that's going to include retail shops, restaurants, supper clubs, service bars, and an outdoor entertainment spot. We're really excited to see what's coming there, really kind of changing up that area. And also apparently they're planning for a new hotel in the back of the property, but those plans have not yet been released. Adele is finally making her presence known at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Now that's set to happen November 18th and it goes through February 24th, darling, starting at $600. And if you want to get like that up close and personal to Adele, where you can feel her sweat, maybe a little bit of her spit coming out of her mouth, they roll for about $20,000. Now, if you are signed up to her website, you may have had access to things like cheaper tickets, but those are the resale prices and those are fire. Hey, so the bad boys of Boston are coming back to Las Vegas. That's right, Aerosmith deuces our wild residency at Dolby Live Theater. Park MGM is back on. And you may recall back in March when they postponed the initial residency, and that's because Steven Tyler had entered rehab. He had a relapse after 10 years of sobriety following foot surgery. Well, they're coming back to Vegas. We're psyched about it. The residency is planned to start in September. Now, the tickets are starting about $100 a piece and run all the way up to $2,000 for the best seats in the house. You know that $1.8 billion arena currently under construction? You know, the one near the Venetian Resort on the Vegas Strip? All right, if you don't know, it's called the MSG Sphere. And guess what? U2 is set to hold a multi-date residency, and they're gonna be kicking off the opening of the MSG Sphere when it opens next year. So it's gonna spread over the course of several months. Woo! For those of you that love Elton John music as much as we do, well, guess what? Elton's added a show to his last ever North American tour for one night only at Allegiant Stadium on November 1st. So if you haven't had a chance to see Elton John, this may be your last chance to see the legend himself performing live. You know what? I think we better order our tickets right now. Now, if you want a weird yet cool day trip idea outside of Las Vegas, well, you can book a tour of the Nevada nuclear test site. Yeah, no, that's right. Actually, it's really cool. This has not been open since before the pandemic, so really the first time in over two years. Now, it's only once a month, but the cool thing is it is free, free. right? And apparently they'll pick you up by chartered bus at 7.30 a.m. in front of the National Atomic Testing Museum on East Tropicana. They'll get you back by 5 o'clock, and apparently you're going to be glowing with excitement. <laughs> that, was that was bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, am I glowing? I, I feel like I got the glow. I got the glow. I do have the glow. Now we've got a lot of questions from you about what is going on in the downtown area regarding this curfew. And of course there was a bill introduced after several violent incidents in the area to impose a curfew. And actually right now, the Las Vegas City Council is still considering the ordinance and it would basically, if it went into effect, would prevent uh, folks under the age of 21 being in the area between 9 p.m. and 5 p.m. 
So stay tuned on that. And if you have more information about the ordinance, please let us know in the comments below. Now let me tell you about a new dining experience at the Bellagio. And it happens to be inside the Bellagio's conservatory and botanical gardens. That's right, you guys, you heard me correctly, inside. This experience is called Garden Table, and it's essentially dining at a table set up inside Bellagio's conservatory and botanical gardens. Now, this experience is gonna include prefix menus from two places. One, Sadell's Cafe, which is adjacent from the conservatory, and Bellagio's seafood restaurant, Michael Mina's. Think of it as a uh, Garden of Eaton. Get it? Garden of Eaton? Gar Garden of Eaton, get it? Oh, oh, all right, okay, okay, moving on. Oh, thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Now, speaking of delicious cocktails, the Ghost Bar at the Palms has reopened, you guys. And we are very excited to check out this indoor-outdoor ultra bar, which is on the 55th floor at the Palms and said to have hmm, some of the best nightlife, including really awesome views of the Las Vegas Strip. Mm -hmm. Now, it's open from Wednesday through Saturday, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m., now there is another new restaurant we should talk about that just opened up, Yes. right? And that restaurant, it's an upscale Mexican steakhouse called Toca Madera at Aria. Now don't expect tacos El Gordo cheap or not even close to that. This is upscale Mexican. For example, you can get a taco order. It's A5 Wagyu tacos for $35. Ooh. Kind of gives you a sense of that. I mean, it could be amazing and uh, you know, probably something worth checking out. Now, if that is too fancy for your blood, you can always check out Buddy Valestro, AKA Cake Boss's new vending machines coming to Las Vegas Strip, which is supposed to be a pizza vending machine. Pizza. Yeah, now you know he has two or several vending machines right now that are cake vending sure, machines yeah. over at the Harris. But apparently, according to sources, they said that there is a cake pizza That's vending machine cool. over at the link. It's not functioning, but stay tuned for pizza vending machines to eventually make their way right. on a different side note outside of it. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Is everything better with bacon? Wait, a minute. you read my mind, baby. Mm. That's right, because up next you have Bacon Nation coming to the D on the second floor down at the D. And actually it's a 24 seven spot that provides all different types of bacon dishes. Mm. Right, and it's not open yet, coming this fall. I guess a signature item is supposed to be a reverse BLT where the bread is replaced with bacon. I mean, that's a lot of bacon. That's a lot of bacon. Are you getting hungry? I'm All this bacon talk. Starving. Making me hungry. <laughs> now let's talk festivals and the ones that are coming to Las Vegas in September. The first ever Rumbazo Latin Musical Festival is taking over the downtown Las Vegas event center September 10th 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. Now, they have said that their lineup is going to be promising an El Revento del Año, the party of the year. Ha <laughs> ha! Turn it up! The Life is Beautiful Festival is returning to downtown Las Vegas September 16th to 18th. Now, it takes over several blocks on and around Fremont Street. It includes live music, art, food, comedy, and even motivational speakers. And coming to the Las Vegas T-Mobile Arena, September 23rd and 24th, you have the iHeartRadio Music Festival, which is known to host some of the top acts in pop, rock, country, R&B, rap, and EDM in the world. Tickets are gonna go for about $125 and up, and it can go way up, depending on where you wanna sit at the T-Mobile Arena. But if that seems to be a little bit too high for your blood, maybe you can check out the up and coming acts that will be performing on a special daytime stage at Area 15 on September 24th. You know, the budget tickets. Now some other big concerts coming to Las Vegas in September at Allegiant Stadium include Def Leppard, Motley Crue and Poison with special guest opener Joan Jett on September 9th. Local favorites Imagine Dragons on September 10th. Grupo Ferme on September 15th and Bad Bunny with Alesso on September 23rd. So it's time for the question of the day. Ooh, the question of the day. Yeah, and I figured, you know, since we talked a little bit about the Mirage, right? And there's a lot of emotion tied to the Mirage being changed over to the Hard Rock. We figured we'd ask you guys this question. Share one of your most amazing experiences at the Mirage. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah. Right, let us know, and it could be kind of at the volcano, could be at a restaurant, could be in the hotel, the pool, anything about the Mirage, let us know your experience there. And we actually will select one of you, one of the comments that we're gonna then share in our next video. Yeah, we'll feature that in our next video 
coming up. So let us know in the comments below, share one of your best experiences at the Mirage. And I think that's nice because it kind of ties a little bit of that emotion oh, absolutely. into it and people can understand exactly how the Mirage feels or felt to so many. Exactly. All right, everyone, we just have one more update for you. And that's hit that subscribe button because we are there close to 100,000 subscribers and we would greatly appreciate that. And we want to again thank each and every one of you for showing the tremendous support you've shown us over the years. Nice job. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, I cannot spin that. Ooh, thank oh my back. One more time. Take it back. <laughs> Once they open up them doors. So babe, yeah. yeah, it looks like flight golf may not have competition at all. It's really top golf I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs> 70 million dollar design is sold to fluffer for curkers. Yes. <laughs> Adele is finally making her presence known at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Now that's set to happen November. <laughs> oh, and just to let you know, the information, the tour dates for this will be starting all over. <laughs> That's delish. Mm -hmm. oh, what I got there? Something on my face. Mm -hmm. What's on my face? <laughs> uh -uh. <Hummus. laughs> if you are planning an awesome trip to Las Vegas and you want to know some of the top things to do, hit that video right, right there. Here. Just right, yep. Mm -hmm. right, right down there. Right there. No, well, wait a minute, because I know sometimes it could be hard to figure out how to hit it. It takes me a long it. time. Like, how do I yeah, just there? hit it right there. Right, right? there. Just right, there. right? Right there. There. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, and we will see you in the next one.